Guys, welcome back to a brand new Disney Heroes Batman video. And guys, I want you to all click that link in description and drop me some question, Q some Q and A's for my Christmas countdown video where I'll be doing a 50 pound giveaway. So just drop down some Q and A's guys and I'll be doing them in a live stream with my brother. So click that Discord link in description and chuck me a load of questions. Now, I'm here today looking at the patch notes for the new update and then in tomorrow's video guys i'm going to be doing a big mod build for raya because i've got some ideas on how to build her the best and i'm looking forward to that so let's get straight into it today i've got gerald here and we're going to be looking at the new update and i have to say oh i have to try and pronounce this character's name but soisu looks incredible and we've got Triton as well, who also looks ridiculous. I also have a few more leaked characters to review later on this week, but um, let's jump straight into this today. So the Purblue office may be closed for winter break, but we still have new heroes and content for you to enjoy. Please read carefully for the dates when new heroes and content will appear in game. So obviously they're on Christmas holiday now, but they've planned a cheeky update for us, which is lovely. So she looks ridiculous absolutely mental so that's going to be an awesome character she is a midline support hero on the red team will be available in the prize wall starting december the 23rd so we've got three days for when this video goes live so it's normally on like the 24th you're able to start earning and going in i've found but yeah so she's a support type character and just from the look of her i have a feeling she's going to be absolutely stupid okay she illuminates herself instead of basic attacking enemies, healing herself and her ally that has the lowest bit of HP. So straight away, that's quite nice. She, instead of attacking, she's going to, so a bit like Miguel with her music note, she's not gonna do basic attacks, she's just a healer, which is obviously what you want from a healer. So she heals herself and her ally that has the lowest percent of max HP. Now, as I go through this character, I'm gonna be comparing um, her to Ariel. Because obviously Ariel is the meta healer in the game at the moment. So if she can't compete with Ariel, then there's obviously I'm still gonna work on her, so I like to work on the prize war characters. But there wouldn't there won't be much point at leveling her up if she doesn't compete with Ariel. So let's jump straight into this. So when you actually click the button to activate, she uses the dragon gem. Is she from Rhea? Is she as well? I don't know. She uses the dragon gem to create rain over the battlefield. When the rain starts. Su Suzu and her allies gain a shield. That's pretty good. Every few seconds during the rain, the hero to the lowest point of their max HP gets healed. So that's probably going to heal everybody fully, I'd imagine. And I'm excited to see how long the rain lasts for. So that certainly does look like it's going to be something mental. Then we've got Tail Whip. Whips the closest enemy with her tail, dealing normal damage and knocking them back. She also steals their basic damage from the enemy, granting it to herself and that ally with the most basic damage. That's ridiculous. She favors granting the basic damage to damage roll allies. Ridiculous again. If none exists, she'll grant it to whoever has the most basic damage. So that's going to be crazy because if you say, for example, got Rhea in battle, she's going to steal the basic attack and give it to her, and she's going to do even more damage. And she already basically already kills everyone. And we've got fog formation. She breathes a large cloud of fog at nearby enemies, dealing fantastic damage and blinding them. She also steals skill power from the enemy's hit, granting it to herself and the ally with the most skill power. She favors granting the skill power to damage roll allies. If none exists, she'll grant it to whoever has the most skill power. So that's okay. Um, I imagine that when it deals fantastic damage, hopefully that's just going to be an instant kill, like most of the prize war characters. But at the moment, she doesn't stand, apart from she looks awesome, doesn't stand out to me any more than Ariel. So I don't, so I'm not seeing her being as good as Ariel at the moment. Okay, so she gains attack speed for a few seconds whenever an ally falls below a percent of their max HP. Each ally can trigger this once per way. So that's nice, because that means she's probably only at five attack speed boost, which is good. The first step. The 
passive portion of water skill now targets one additional ally. That's pretty good. She also shields herself and affected allies every few basic attacks. That's ridiculous. The shields last for X amount of seconds, so she's kind of a little bit more like Slinky. Water skills now remove all stacks of fatigue. That's pretty good. The rain also reduces the base damage and skill power of all enemies. So she really has to have her red skill activated to see that sort of ridiculousness come through. So that's quite important there, guys. Okay, so friendship with Mushu and Mad Moomin. And then we've got King Triton. Now, I'm annoyed that this guy's a silent hero. I was hoping he was going to be in the crate because I would have loved to use Zeus and Triton together. But let's dive straight into him, guys. Now, I have already looked at this character before um, and he's stupid, stupidly overpowered. He's basically another Zeus. So his main, his, his main skill, he creates a whirlpool on the battlefield that lasts X amount of seconds. The enemy closest to the center of the world protects fantastic damage every second while being pulled towards its center. Enemies that are being pulled towards the center of the whirlpool are considered to have been knocked, are considered to have been knocked back. I don't really know what that means, but it's gonna knock back people and deal loads of damage. So it says the closest enemy to the center of the world protects fantastic damage. I'm hoping that it's gonna damage more than one. Because if it doesn't, it, that's gonna kind of fall flat amongst a lot of other people's specials. So again, interested to see how that one works. But if it doesn't pull them in, I'm gonna be a little bit annoyed about that. Okay, we've got Turn the Tide. King Triton releases, oh sorry, I missed one, didn't I? King Triton, blast the closest enemy of his trident. It's gonna look cool. Dealing with fantastic damage, damage in an area. So again, what we should have there is a little bit like um, Zeus when he throws the lightning sort of cage. If the initial target is a shield, this skill deals fantastic damage to all enemies hit. That's pretty cool actually, but I believe it bounces. So we should have a nice amount of damage there. So he's gonna be fantastic for the lightning team, which I've started to form. So I can have Tia Zeus bolt power line, sorry, Tia Zeus, Triton power line, and I need one more lightning character. So that works pretty well, could do Mega Volt. King Triton raises the tide, healing himself and all allies, and making everyone precise. Anyone below that the max actually will be healed an additional amount. So the problem I have here is when you put these two characters next to each other, right? I'm pretty certain he, this guy's not a support. He's a control type character, right? So Sisu or Saisu, Saisu is a support type character and all of her moves are absolutely trash compared to that single move from Triton. So it kind of makes her a bit pointless, which is a shame. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit of an issue in my opinion there. Um, so who have we got next? Sea King. Enemies hit by Maelstrom and Trident Bolt have all of that. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. His basic attacks destroy the enemy's shield with the most HP. He's going to be an absolute don against Slinky. That's cool. So he's actually, I think, he's the first character who's a shield wiper. I'm excited for that. And we've got his red skill here. Trident Bolt now favors the enemy with the most shield, which is brilliant because that'll break the shield. And its cooldown is reduced whenever it destroys a shield. It's going to target someone with a shield, destroy a shield, destroy someone else's shield. Enemies affected by the white skill take additional fantastic damage each second and have their attack and movement speed reduced. When enemies reach the center of the whirlpool, they get stunned. That is stupid. That's ridiculous. Those two characters are going to be absolutely mental. Okay, now we've got new hero locations and content adjustment. Heroes will not appear in the shop until they refresh, same as always. Heroes will appear in crates after the data set at 5am. Nice. Suits will be available on prize wall, starting the 23rd. Rhea will be an event exclusive. Yeah, so it's the same as always, guys. I like that they've dropped Zeus in the diamond crate now. 
again the same. Ship and Dale will be uh, event exclusive. Thir will be in the guild crate, lovely. Um, gadget, City Watch Shop, nice, that means I can max Gadget out. Eel will place Baloo. Um, so Sarah's still an exclusive. Mary will be in the Guild War crate. Russell and Kevin, I can work on them. So there's a few more cats I can max out there. Oh, for goodness sake. Relax. Relax. We don't need another level of greens. <laughs> and we've gone to yellow 10. So all this triple down here is the same as always, guys. But I am quite excited. What the hell? Anyway, guys, make sure you jump on, leave me some questions in my Discord, and I'll see you, legends, in the next one.